I am back. I didn't fall over. Not at all. Hello. my friends. I'm back. I'm oh, with lipstick on my cheek. <laughs> I'm back so soon, you ask. So soon already. It is. Yes, I am. Are you impressed? I'm back. I'm exhausted, but I'm back. Uh, why so soon? Uh, accountability. Sort of. <laughs> I said I would do a series of owls. <sighs> Goodbye, fly. I said I would do a series of owls, and I did. Look at him, he's so grumpy. <laughs> I made a second owl, and he is so unimpressed. He would did not want to be made. He was not happy about me conjuring him into life. I fought this owl throughout the whole experience. <laughs> I nearly gave up on it. And then me and him had a good chat, and we became friends. Me and me and Grumpy Owl. <laughs> so I'm checking in for the second time in, I think it's two weeks, which is incredibly impressive. I don't think there's ever been a time where I've done one video in, in two weeks. I deserve applause. Yay! Yay! And lots of hearts and stuff in the comments. So... Owl time, owl time. I want to talk to you about this owl, this very grumpy owl. I call him a uh, confetti owl. <laughs> grumpy confetti owl. And you'll see me make him in this video. I have done a time lapse for you. But I want to talk to you about how interesting it is when you struggle with a painting and what it can sort of mean. Because you know what? Everything has meaning. Everything has meaning. And other people go, no, not everything has meaning. Aren't you guys sick of all the fighting everywhere online and all the podcasts and all the people just talking about stuff and you go, I can't, man. One day eggs are really bad for you. The other day they're like a superfood. People have are discussing political issues until they are green in the face. No, something in the face, blue in the face, all the colors in the face. I'm so tired of people fighting and discussing and arguing and debating stuff. Look, why? So, let me just stop myself there. Not everything has meaning in life. That's true. Some things are meaningless. But when you struggle sometimes with a painting like this, or with a character, what I absolutely love is if I allow it to reach me, the struggle, because soft, sometimes you just get stuck in the struggle. You just sit there and go, this is a struggle. This is a struggle. I don't like this struggle. It's effing frustrating. <sighs> you know, then you get stuck in the struggle. But what you can also do is you're in the struggle and then, with your painting, and then you can go, what is this struggle reminding me of? What is this character, my grumpy owl, trying to tell me? What is this struggling reflecting uh, about my life? What is it reflecting back to me? What If this was a mirror, what is it trying to tell me? Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. That's how I sometimes <laughs> use a struggly painting. Sometimes. This time I did. 
I definitely did. I was struggling with this painting so much. And after about maybe whatever, I don't know how long I was struggling with it, I suddenly went, hold up, hold up. What is going on here? Yes? What is up, Tamara? Can you figure out what this uh, experience is trying to tell you? Because there's symbolism in life everywhere. You know, I am quite a literal person. And I go round and round and go, here is an annoying thing. That's a beautiful thing. This is a blah, blah thing. This is an invertebrate thing. But I rarely remember to go, wow, here's an experience. And it speaks to me on a literal level. But what is it trying to tell me on a symbolic or a metaphorical level? So I'm sharing this tidbit of information with you so that you may try it out as well. So often the struggles on the canvas or the page can reflect the struggles in life. And this time, yes, this is true. <laughs> and also, Grumpy Owl is me. I realize it's me. I've been so grumpy lately for the last six years. <laughs> okay, not really. Not, not only. Not only. But there is a pervasive grumpiness about me in the last six years. And you know what? I have a lot of compassion for myself about that. Because I don't know if you've looked around, but there's a lot to be grumpy about. So it was just really funny because it was... <laughs> It's like, I'll tell you what this, this guy was trying to say. Excuse me. I was sleeping or I was just not existing. And then you dared, annoying painter, to conjure me into life, dressed me in ridiculous confetti colors while I was nicely non-existing. And I am not happy about it. That's how I read him. That's how it scanned to me in the end. Now, he has amused me and uh, I like him a lot actually now. But he had just so much to say. It's like, I am not happy about this. And I was like, yeah, I am not sort of happy either <laughs> about lots of things. Me neither. So we were sort of reminiscing about how unhappy we are about quite a lot of things. And so in the end, I found a um, solidarity with this owl. This owl was kind of speaking for itself, but it was also speaking for me. And he's kind of speaking in the way of, I'm grumpy. You could say that he's grumpy about being colored, colorfully um, dressed up. But in the, on the other hand, it's also like, He's grumpy, but he's also still very colorful, or he's colorful in his grumpiness. See, there's so many ways you can interpret the um, expression on this character's face or what he's trying to tell you. You might look at that painting and go, no, no, what this character is trying to tell me is X, Y, Z, because it's reflecting something back in you. <laughs> so anyway, that was something fun I wanted to share with you, fun, fun. Uh, interesting, perhaps, about the creative process. So yes. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is, check this out. I don't know if you can see what this is. This, my friends, is a blending stump kit. Now, I actually love blending stumps and I kept saying to people, okay, there's a problem with blending stumps. Do you know what blending stumps are? They're these guys. Blending stump is a little rolled up piece of paper, but very tightly that you can use to blend out uh, art, paint and all sorts. And the problem I had with them for years, always, is that they, um, if once you've, once you started blending black, it's very hard to clean it. So if you wanted to blend like a light blue, there's black on it or graphite, and then it mixes it in. So I used to say to people, I'll oh, make sure that you have one blending stump for light colors, one blending stump for dark colors, and sort of something like that. That was sort of my solution, but I ended up never really having one that is just light and I, I ruined them all and thought, oh no, now I only have black ones. And I can't blend anything light. So the other day I wanted to buy some more because all of mine are black. <laughs> and then I found this amazing thing online, which has something in it, which is a blending stump sharpener. So I'm really excited about this. This is in no way, I'm not affiliated or anything. I just really wanted to share with you that if you are also a blending stump user, that it's, apparently there are blending stump sharpeners or I suppose it's, it's, I don't know if it's a sharpener or a, I think it's a file, like a sand, sanding, sandpaper, sanding paper. This comes with it. And this is the sharp, like they call this the sharpener. How handy is that? Because I've always just been annoyed with the fact that the blending stumps just have one side and that's it then. So what am I going to do? Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a piece of paper at the top. Then we're going to take that off. And underneath this is sanding paper, sanding paper. So I guess, oh, I guess all we're gonna do, I should really film this on my other camera, but I'm gonna 
Yes. Oh, this is brilliant. Fuck. Excuse me. This is so good. Well, kind of. Makes it a little bit... Definitely makes it better. Look at that. It makes it a little bit sort of fluffy, but I feel like this is definitely worth my while. And basic, okay, so you can also just use just by just by sandpaper separately. Flipping hell, that's great. That's really good. Much cleaner. Okay, so that's a tidbit, and it came with lots more. Lots more and a nice little box. Box is good. I need boxes, always need boxes. So that's good news. Good news. I have found a blending stump sharpener, everybody. This is very good art news. I'm very happy about it. I hope you are too. So on my last video, I was sharing with everybody that I have become a Faye Romance fan. Faye, Faye. Romanticy, they say. I think they call them romanticies. And I am a fan now. Sarah J Maas is my newest best friend. I am so excited about... Why is this fly here? Go <gasps> back. This fly. Do you not understand? I'm doing important filming. I'm so excited about all the books that I have still not... That I haven't read yet and that I will get to read. It is the most exciting thing. Anyway, so I'm now on book number two. I read, I read, I finished... I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses, yay! And I have now started A Court of Mist and Fury, I think it is. And I am just, every day, I can't wait to go to bed so I can read, because what I've done, by the way, but I have stopped allowing myself my phone at night because I'll just be on TikTok doom scrolling. And so now I have to read at night. I have to, I get the, I have the pleasure. I have the honor of reading. So I am now reading... <laughs> A Court of Mist and Fury, and I'm absolutely adoring this book. I'm actually 60% in, so I must be coming to kind of some kind of big battle soon. And then there are another uh, three in the series, and she's writing a sixth. I hope the sixth book is out by the time I've read the other three, but three and a half, but I don't know. So yeah, anyone else, if you have, if you have a good recommendation for a romanticy, do hit me up in the comments, please, my friends. I look forward to your recommendations. I have heard about Fourth Wing and something called King of... Something called Powerful. Something called How Kings Do It or something. <laughs> kings Do It. That sounds not right. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. Please let me know more about books. Books are my new everything. Let's... Uh, oh. This fly. I don't know what it wants. So let's paint another owl, yes? Owl number two in the series. He's grumpy. I struggled with him. That's the other thing. I thought it was going to be so easy. I thought, yeah, great. Do owls, owls. I good. I can do, I can do owls, owls. And then the second one I do, I was like, what is going on? Why want to just do what I wanted to do? And the outcome is this grumpy, grumpy <laughs> owl, just like a clown, a very colorful, beautiful clown. So uh, this is the second one in my Owl series. I'm very impressed with myself for um, having done it so soon after the first one. Normally I say, I'm going to do a series, and then there's a month or two months in between the series, which doesn't make it really a series. I mean, it makes it a very slow series. Eh. So I'm excited. Let's make Owl number two. And if you, my friend, do an Owl as well, please do come and share it in the Willowing and Friends group on Facebook or somewhere on on wherever you want, TikTok or Instagram, tag me. I'd love to see what you do. Love to hear your thoughts. Do you find that life imitate, imitates art, as they say, and, and art imitates life? Do you find yourself using art as a mirror? Do you see yourself reflected in your art, not physically necessarily, but like emotionally? Do you go, okay, yeah, I see now why that orange is screaming at me or whatever. You know, I would love to hear about your insights and uh, thoughts and everything. And also, I want you to know that you are loved, and I hope you're okay. Life is a bit of a show for many of us, and it's a pressure and stress and all sorts. If you're going through something difficult and challenging, I send you so much love and care and uh, strength and uh, light and wishes, good wishes for your situation to change in your favor. Yeah, life's not easy right now, and I know that, and so I send out my heartfelt everything.
to everyone who, out there who's watching this video. And I appreciate you clicking on my video. That is always deeply appreciated. And if you find my uh, ramblings and warblings, I've come to call them warbles, which are not words, I don't think. Is not a word. Is warbling a word? I think it is, but it doesn't mean what I think it means, but I'm going to use it for that. I used to think that the word dwindling meant that you're just doddling. I thought dwindling meant doddling, doddling. And then Andy told me, no, dwindling means slowly but surely disappearing. <laughs> and I say, I am just dwindling about in the kitchen. He said, you can't be dwindling about in the kitchen because I don't want you to be disappearing. Anyway, so I use the wrong word sometimes for things that I mean, and sometimes I make them up and then they are in existence as well. That happens a lot. Anyway, if you like my warbling, warblings, warbling, warblings, Thank you so much. I'm really uh, appreciative that you do. Uh, I hope to somewhat amuse. And uh, I'd like to take people on a comedic chaotic walk down the lanes of my brain and mind. And usually it's quite funny. Sometimes it's a little crazy. Sometimes it's delirious. Sometimes it's calm. Really rare, but it can be calm. Anyway, if you like it here, <laughs> I would appreciate a thumbs up, a subscribe, maybe even clicking the little bell so that you get notified when a new video of mine comes up. And you will have my undying love and gratitude. Thank you for being here. It really always means so much to me. All right, let's take a look at how I made this grumpy owl. <laughs> Enjoy. Much love. Bye.